This 40 years old female patient first presented to me a month ago with trauma to the eye with a sharp pointed wood resulting in a clear corneal full thickness wound in the superior cornea with traumatic cataract uh, torn iris and ruptured anterior capsule with full hyphema. So I drained the blood and repaired the corneal wound you can see and decided to perform cataract surgery on a later date. So now a month after a month she presented to me with this traumatic cataract and the lens is displaced anteriorly the anterior chamber was very shallow and IOP was raised so I decided to perform cataract surgery I gave her two cc peribulbar anesthesia and now making the main port with 2.75 phaco knife at 9 o'clock exactly at the location of previous surgery paracentesis port slowly and gentle gently I enter the anterior chamber make sure not to touch the capsule or endothelial stain the capsule with dry pen blue and remove the dye and you can see the anterior capsule is torn at multiple places and uh, you can see how much shallow the anterior chamber is that even uh, for the movements of the simco cannula i am feeling difficulty now put viscoelastic uh, to deepen the anterior chamber and now with the cystotome, I am trying to perform capsulotomy because capsulorexis is not possible in this uh, torn capsule. So I am performing adequate capsulotomy so that uh, I can uh, perform a fake emulsification. You can see that. Uh, there is a fibrosis of the anterior capsule as well and the whole lens is shaking while removing the anterior capsule but I am trying to remove as much of anterior capsule as possible so that when I perform FACO I should not pull the edge of the anterior capsule And now with the help of Simco cannula, I am aspirating the anterior lens matter to clear the view, to improve the visibility and to clear the anterior capsule margins. Now you can see that the view for work for FACO is clear. Now again put viscoelastic to make some room and make a side port at 3 o'clock and with FACO settings 40 power 300 vacuum and 25 flow I gently enter the FACO probe into the anterior chamber and second instrument and started FACO emulsification now in such cases the second instrument handling is very important I am not sure at this moment that whether PC is intact or not uh, but I am hopeful that it will be. So that's why very slowly and gently I am rotating the pieces uh, with the second instrument uh, and emulsifying with FACO. Making sure uh, I, am, I don't touch the endothelium in a very shallow anterior chamber and don't pull the anterior capsular edges, uh, torn edges. Uh, to cause uh, uh, zonular dehiscence uh, and uh, don't push the phaco probe too deep uh, uncontrolled to cause PC rupture. So as the anterior chamber became too much shallow I, shallow, I came out and again putting viscoelastic. You can see the pressure, the iris is also coming out of the port. 
so you can see such a shallow anterior chamber that i am putting when i am putting the second instrument iris is coming in the way so just uh, closely observe the handling of the second instrument uh, that uh, i am not moving feco too much uh, but with the second instrument uh, i am uh, giving the pieces to the feco so that it could it emulsify and aspirate so far everything is going smoothly i have already prepared a cutter if there is a PCR but thanks God that uh, I have removed almost all the traumatic uh, cataract and the PC is intact and now these are the posterior cortical sheets that I am removing with the help of Simco cannula so now the last uh, few sheets of cortical matter now here uh, you should be very careful because anterior uh, cap uh, posterior capsule is uh, very close to the Simco cannula. So now I have all, uh, removed all the lens matter as well. You can see the heart shaped pupil. Again putting viscoelastic uh, to make uh, a room. Uh, and thanks god pc is intact so there is no need of uh, vitrectomy but in such cases uh, cutter should be prepared and even ctr if you are able to perform capsular access so now i am putting foldable iol in the bag definitely the bag is torn but uh, it will fit in you can see with the help of a dialer i am pushing it in the bag and it will stay there i don't want to enlarge the wound you can also use three piece multi piece iols as well so in such cases you don't know whether there is a support or not so you you should have a rigid uh, IOL as well as uh, anterior chamber IOL with you as well as a scleral fixation IOL with you I had all these and now I am removing all the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber and now through a slit lamp I am showing you the red reflex and you can see the corneal stitches and the case went very well thanks to god and hopefully this patient will regain good vision thank you for patient viewing